So today, you guys, I'm gonna bring y'all along to wrap two trays with me. They will be OB trays. One is the C-section and one is a pen set. So yeah, so I'll just be showing you how I put it together, how I do the count sheet and the steps that I take to get it done. And yeah, thanks for watching. Well, keep on watching and see how it's done. Good morning. So today we will be wrapping two OB pan sets. So I will be getting two wraps, 54 by 54. Two of these. Lay them down in an envelope style. And now I will proceed to place my pen. Pen. Next, I will place my towel. Towel. Position. Indicator. sheet I'm gonna get the big things out the way so first it will be my big large metal bowl the proper name for it leg bands it's two of them another towel Put it the opposite way. Indicator. Right angle retractors, two of them. Two small bones, I mean, two small bows. My pickups, one with teeth, one without. Now, moving along to my stringer, we use these to put the actual um, forceps instruments on. So, I'll be showing y'all how I do that. Take one. First thing is auctioners, clamps. Two. Place them down. Easy ways. Next, two Alice. Two tire clamps. You another key factor, you always want everything to properly go the same in the same way. So you wouldn't want one of these going one of these tire clamps going this way and another one going that way. That's the issue. So nice to have them all going the same way. Next is Kelly, one, one Kelly. Now I have my scissors. First, Mayo straights. See y'all messed up there. Anytime you see yourself messed up, 
and you put some before the next, all you have to do is take it off. It's best that you catch it before somebody else catch it. So really, what's next is curve mayos. Then straight mayos. Then my bandage scissors. Next one, my curve hemostats. Some people call them crowls. Some people call them hemostats. Um, different places call them different names, but we know what they are. Or you eventually catch on what it is. Because when I first got here, I was like, these are not hemostats, these are crowls. And then I had to catch on like, Girl, they don't call them that here. Next is sponge forcep. My urine packaging forcep. I probably was saying that. It's pretty long. It's a total of two of these. I hope I'm showing y'all a good picture of it. Good video of it. So guess what? We're done. You see how they're all, the angled ones are all angled in, in the wrong, same way. Now I'm just gonna scoot that Oh. Now I'm just gonna take this one and scoot it in here and secure that so they won't fall off, you know? That's what that helps. And place it on top. Finishing product. Now, I will tap it off with one towel. Now it's time to wrap. that noise is the article is going off. Don't mind it. to secure it. I'm gonna take it a little different today. We put our paper to Count sheet paper inside of this. So first I have to fill it out. Or finish it filling out. So this um, vaginal pan set was number eight. So I already have that at the top of my page. I have the date and I'm gonna fill out how many it was, which everything was correct. We did it all together. Sometimes you may get one and only have one small bowl or you may get zero lit bins and you need to make sure to fill that out. And 
Good training shoe at the bottom. Now, fold it neatly. Place inside. Place under the tape. And now I'm gonna just write that name on top of the tape. And that was the pen set. And next we have the C section. So now we're doing the C section. And I'm gonna get that number right there, put it on my paper. Stay, stay. And these shoes, I always do that first. This one only requires two towels. So I'm gonna go to lay my first towel down, put my other towel at the top. I always put your indicators first because if it can't get to the OR with no indicators, that's the what, y'all, that is really, really bad. So I always remember to make that one of the first things I do. So two indicators. One on both sides. So we're gonna start with the retractors. Army Navy retractors, two. So I'm gonna be marking it off my checklist. I'm gonna show you the other three. These are the whew, Beaver, Richardson, and the Bladder Blade Retractors. Very pretty. So do that all together. And you want the tray to look as neat as you can get it. I'm gonna pull it out up a little closer so y'all can see better. Um, so once I do my retractors, I go on to my piglets. Number three, knife handle. Two of those. Axis with teeth. Two of those. Bunny, one of those, the bakey, one of those. Pickups, plain. One of those. Pick 
pickups with teeth. One. So now we're on to our stringer. And y'all, stringers come, I've seen some different stringers. I've seen some with the, you only have one of these and you have like a little small little hoop thing that you just put on the end. I like those. I really do. If it was my opinion, I would love to have a lot of those. So first is I need the holders. And I have two of these. Next is our auctioneers. And I have three of these. Oh yeah, I left off a pickup. My Russian. Six curved Kellys. I want to stress to y'all that the count matters, y'all. The count is the most important thing. So six. Next, my Babcocks. And I have four of those. I always say to pronounce these wrong, but my Pillington's plants. I think I pronounced that right. And I have how many of those? Three. And y'all, if y'all call them some different, put it in the comment section. I would like to know. These put you in a mind of a sponge for a sip, which I'm gonna compare. See how they look alike, but one has a frame and one doesn't. Next is our Alice, and it's six of those. Six. Next, my scissors. Bend the scissors. Next. 
I think I got a bag it on up. Mix. Y'all, the worst thing, I hate when you're doing your stringer and you put it down in an awkward way and they all fall. And that means you gotta start it all over. One, you gotta send your tray back to the ton because once instruments fall on the floor, they have to be rewashed. So yeah. Safe way is to lay them down. And I'm just letting y'all know that they didn't fall on nothing, but I like mine so look neat, especially on camera. But that's the safest way, especially doing what I'm doing, trying to record and all that good stuff. Okay, so next is Curve, Curve Mayos. And I'm going to put them beside the Straight Mayos. And that's the last Straight Mayos. Thanks for so y'all this is my finishing product. And I'm gonna place that towel on top of here. Now it's time to wrap. so serious because I was so quiet but even though it don't be that perfect sometimes coming up perfect sometimes it don't it's a hit and miss with me not perfect but good looking <laughs> tear out two pieces of tape and then I take the long one and secure it Label it, stick it in there. 
y'all. Ain't gonna lie. Coming from a, a stair processing department that is based with computers to coming to one that has none at all, your brain is like fried. I was like, when I got here, I was like, oh my God, I gotta spell everything. Everything gotta be spelled right. I gotta write everything down. Like, when you're doing a load, you have to write it down. And I was like, oh my fucking, my, oh my God, my hand is gonna be hurting. Like, that's a lot of writing. But y'all, you adapt, you get used to it. I know I miss them computers, but you get used to it. It's crazy. But yeah, thanks for watching me wrap OB trays and put them together and um, stay on the lookout. I'll be doing more trays. Fill them up with vibes.